Today, I want to talk to you about Trial Director for iPad and why this is really a case of you get what you pay for. So back when Trial Pad uh, first came out uh, on the market, Trial Director was one of the dominant players, and it still is one of the dominant players in the trial presentation software market. Its software offering, though, was laptop-based. And I was very familiar with it at the time. I'm still very familiar with it. Um, I still use it for most of the big trials that I work on today. But I'm not a big fan of the Trial Director for iPad app. Uh, we do teach it in our litigation technology class at Chicago Kent College of Law. Uh, but the main reason that we teach it is because it's free. Uh, and so the price is right for students. On my iPad here, and let's look at the iPad now, I have Trial Pad and I have Trial Director uh, on my home screen. Let's take a look at Trial Director. Here are a couple of just sample cases. These are some sample files that we've created uh, for the students to, to kind of play around with and learn this type of app. And if you go into any of the files, you'll see it's very familiar if you've used Trial Pad before. So you've got a uh, list of exhibits on the left-hand side, and you uh, select one of them. There's support for videos. Uh, what I do like about Trial Direct for iPad is that they put videos and JPEGs and PDFs all in the same list. And there's an array of annotation tools that are at the bottom, very similar to uh, Trial Pad. You can pinch and zoom. You can highlight. You can mark up, let's see here, you can mark up, you can make lines, circles, and use a laser pointer, right? Um, and you can even make callouts too. So all the same kind of features exist. But here's a reason why I don't really like to use uh, Trial Director for iPad. And the problems are getting to be a point where I don't know if we can continue teaching it in the class because it's just getting a little bit buggy. Um, so it has a lot of the same basic tools. But here now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch you over to the presentation view. Now I've got my video going. And one of the things that you'll see uh, right on the screen now is that this, what you're seeing, is the external monitor. This is what jurors would see, or if you're connected to a monitor, this is what you're going to see. There's a huge trial director for iPad logo. And I get it. This is a free version that they're trying to give out. Uh, and they need to make it back somehow in the way that they've chosen to make it back is with marketing. And uh, this is not something that I would really want for my jurors to be staring at. Uh, it's rather big. TrialPad has the same thing. It's a lot smaller. I still don't like it. I've talked to Ian over at TrialPad about it. Uh, what they've added is the option to change the background of your screen to like a gradient gray, which is what I always recommend for people to do. Um, you can't do that on Trial Director uh, for iPad, so you're going to be stuck looking at this when you're not looking at exhibits. When you are looking at exhibits, though, and here's like kind of the real showstopper for me. Um, I'm looking and I'm showing you this exhibit on a t uh, 16 by 9 uh, aspect ratio screen, a wide screen, kind of like all our monitors are uh, anymore. The problem is when this app was originally written, uh, I think most federal courthouses were still using 4 by 3 ratio screens. In other words, the squarish screens that used to be the same size as kind of like the tube monitors that used to be like super big and it would be impossible to carry them. Like that's the size screen. And so when I try and pinch and zoom on this document, I can only go so far until I hit some of the edges, right? And so I have a lot of real estate on the screen that's not being used. So that's one kind of really big problem. The other kind of really big problem that I have with it is that sometimes when I pinch and zoom, even to the extent that I pinch and zoom, it does something a little bit funny, and doesn't always do it. It usually does it. Let's see if it does it here. Let me switch to another just random exhibit, and I'll try to zoom in, and watch what happens when I let go. I'm going to try and get, so I have the exhibit here. Let's say I want to move it so that the date is all the way on the left-hand side so I can fit as much of this kind of fake bank account record uh, that I have, right? But as soon as I let go, it jumps over. I don't, I don't understand why it does that. It, I can't make it move back over. It just won't give me that. And no, a lot of exhibit stuff just happens, and I don't know how to fix it. Um, I don't think it's like a layers issue with the PDF. So it's just something that happens in this app. That never happens to me in TrialPad, so I don't think it's a document issue. I think it's an app issue. Something's going on in there that's a little bit weird. But uh, the other thing, here's a one other thing just out of, just to be complete and thorough, that annoys me about like kind of the, the hinder screen aspect ratio. In TrialPad, you can change the screen aspect ratio depending on what you're connected to. There's a setting you can change. 
1024 by 768, 720p, 1080p. I don't know that you can go to 4K, I wish you could, although that might tax the iPad. But uh, here I'm at the four by three aspect ratio. And if I, even if I do a call out, it, it doesn't get that big. I, it's not that much bigger than the irregular document already. And so it's just really frustrating to see uh, kind of what's happening with this app. It's very difficult to use. Um, and so it's hard for me to, re I never recommend this particular app to clients. Uh, and I don't think that you should use it either. If you're using this for a trial, uh, you should definitely go and spend the money to get trial pad. It's a little bit of a disappointment, especially because trial director for the laptop is such a powerful product um, and is still used by a lot of hot seaters uh, like myself. That's trial director for iPad just in a nutshell. If you have experience with this uh, or if you're using this, let, let me know. I really want to hear from you, especially let me know in the comments. Uh, I'd love to just pick your brain as to why you're using this versus trial pad um, and learn more about it uh, to see what your kind of success and experience has been like. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you uh, on the next one.